Hillbilly Nitro. Here we are, guys, back with another episode of the Walk and Talk. Episode 90. Yeah, we're getting on up there, guys. Episode number 90. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've done a video. We haven't had uh, really no knives going on, so. But we got a little bittersweet episode today. We have a Northwoods, and this is my very first Northwoods. And uh, for you folks that in the knife community know about these Northwoods, you know May the 22nd was the passing of Derek Bone. And he was the, if you don't know, he was the, the man behind these Northwoods knives. He, uh, you know, years back, he purchased it from a guy, but he purchased the Northwoods uh, brand by from a guy named uh, Dave Shirley, I do believe. And he was, Derek was behind the knives that, most all these popular Northwoods knives that we know today. And they haven't really been, you know, there when uh, Derek was doing these knives. And we was just about getting a knife every month, a new Northwoods knife every month right there up until when he passed so I think we've had a few a few knives have dropped since then just a couple though sure do you know I never met him but I sure do I miss him I'd spoke to him a few times on the online and uh, this knife right here I'll go ahead and show it to you the Hawthorne Jack with the Warren Cliff these both, these came both in uh, clip point and with this modified Warren Cliff. This is kind of a modified Warren Cliff that uh, Derek came up with. It's kind of stretched out a little more. Just a beautiful knife. It's one of my favorites and I will never turn loose of it. This is one of the, fir one of the first knife videos I did too on here. You can go back and find it. It's not very good, but <laughs> it's, uh, it was my first one. So, yeah, uh, like I said, he was, you know, he was a man of many traits, I guess. Uh, he, he was a pastor, a pilot, a father, a husband, uh, a brother, and a friend to many. I mean, his, his, his presence was really, really known on, online, and I really I could only imagine, you know, the people that were in his little circle, so... Of course, you didn't have to really be in his circle to, for him to know you. I mean, he was, he was a pastor. He was, he was a friend to many. And that's kind of why I got this little airplane out here. And a little coin that I had done. I'd done this the day he passed. Kind of messed up on the... Didn't know if I wanted to stamp it or do it with a engraver. And kind of messed up there. I need to touch that up a little bit, that R.I.P., yeah, this is a coin I done. I done. I made a. I done a picture. I made this coin for that picture. So I hope you're flying high there, Derek. I hope you're flying high there, buddy. Really do miss you. So yeah, this is uh, my first uh, Northwoods there, and I love it. It's on, it's on a number 48 frame. <coughs> Excuse me. It's on a number 48 uh, slim dog leg frame. Just a beautiful knife. And I actually, I use this knife, as you can see, the, the patina on it. This is, I've cut many a fruit with it. Just a beautiful knife. I love it. And the thing about this knife is, uh, what it kind of reminds me of is my grandmother, back in the day, she lived on a, she lived on a street called Hawthorne Avenue. And this this knife going you know, on the, the Hawthorne Jack, the name kinda it just reminds me of that for some reason. It kinda looks like a thorn. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know, that's why I'll never turn loose of it. Anyway, let's take a look around her here. She's got some use on her. Lots of earned patina. I love these steel bolsters on it. These these steel bolsters hold a nice polish. 
they're just not quite like those nickel silver bolsters. Those, they scratch pretty easy, but these steel bolsters, they hold a polish very well. I don't even, I'm not sure that I've even polished these bolsters. What a beauty, it's super sharp too. It's easy to sharpen. It's snap. Might get a little wind coming through the microphone. That pull is probably, hmm, it's about a seven and a half. It's about right there where I like them. Snap to it there. I've got many oranges and apples. And this thing about thing I like about eating with these these uh, this warm cliff blade, you don't drag your knife blade across a plate when you're cutting something. You don't you don't dull your knife up. You just you just keep that tip on there tip down on the plate or the cutting board and it keeps from dulling your blade up. That's one thing I really like about it. Red linen micarta. Guys, I believe that's going to wrap this one up. A little chapter two. And like I said, doing this little video right here for the man Derek Bone. The thing that really gets me about it too is uh, they were in the process of, and I didn't know this at the time. I didn't find this out to the day after that he passed. They were in the process of moving to moving knife ship free to Chattanooga, Tennessee. He would have been... An hour and a half, two hours from me, and I would, I would have, I would have got to have met him. I live up in Knoxville, so it's right at two hours, not quite, just depending on how fast you drive. I would have, I would have got to have met him, and all the people there at Knife Ship Free, and really, that that, that bummed me down even more when I found that out. Some people say you can't miss somebody you never met, but uh, well, I beg to differ. And uh, one of the first pictures, like I said, one of the first pictures that he ever liked of mine, which he didn't like a lot of my pictures, and just, you know, pictures I would post. I was friends with him on his personal page, too. But I posted one of the, one of the first pictures I posted of this knife. He, he actually liked it on Facebook. And I tell you, it put a smile on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find that picture and I'm gonna use it as a thumbnail on this video. It's not a I don't think it's that great of one, but I don't know. He liked it, I guess. He he gave it a thumbs up. So I'll try to find that up, dig it up, and find it and uh, use it as a thumbnail. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Episode 90 in the history books. So. Hopefully we'll have some more knives coming in very soon. Hope everyone's been doing well, and I thank you guys for stopping by and joining me on this fun little knife video. So, we're going to log off for now. Here, Billy, is over and out here, guys. Peace.